Our overall goal for Antlers by Klaus has always been, and will always be, to have the highest quality reputation that we can possibly achieve. I was trying to create this masterpiece that would really look real. When I hand it to somebody, they'd say, that's a reproduction, I can't tell. That's what I wanted to achieve. We feel that we've achieved that pinnacle of where you cannot tell the original from the reproduction. It goes a lot deeper than having a business and earning money. It goes into a area where I have felt there's a real importance to preserve these great trophies. It's not just a, a set of antlers, it's a piece of art, and it's nature's art. I mean, just think about all the different antlers that deer grow, and you can, you can look at an antler and say, that's, that's the James Jordan buck, because you recognize it, just like a person. There's just a huge inventory of heads that we have and, and most of them are either world record status or state record. We offer the majority of the world record antlers that have ever been harvested for whitetails. So we can get the Mel Johnson, the Dell Austin, the, the Holmhorn, the Breen, Mike Beatty. If you want a Milo Hansen buck, you can get that. You can, you can do something that looks acceptable and put it on the wall and look at it and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. Or you can do something that just really blows people away. And they look at it and go, I can't believe that's not real.